But let's kick things off, shall we? The game that's just finished at Anfield. A game? You call it a game? Well, we call it something. Of course, it'll be played over two legs, these semi-finals. Liverpool in that draw alongside Fulham, Everton and Chelsea. Uh, for more on this, pitch side, Nadem Manua uh, joins us. Uh, Nadem... Oh, wait, we, do, we haven't got Nadem at the moment. Um, well, was this just about one team carrying the other team not? Uh, I think they cared. I just think they were so poor in their execution. I mean, we saw, that, we saw a team... We had two of Shaq's old teams, right, in the last two days. Newcastle and West Ham. Right, OK, West Ham had the tougher task away from home at Liverpool because they're a much better side than Chelsea. But Newcastle have got this well-documented injury list and players missing, key players. They've had all these games. And yes, they went out because they shot themselves in the foot, basically. But at least they went to, uh, to West London and put a fight up. Yeah. Mm. A rear guard effort and put a fight up. There was none of that in this game. Uh, and yes... From the Liverpool perspective, we'll get to it. That was a slick performance by a changed team. But from West Ham's point of view, the Jared Bowen goal in the part, the rest of it was an utter shambles. And I go back to my point at half, at half time. This is the kind of performances that get tongues wagging about David Moyes yeah. at this football club, saying, look, yeah, we've had Europa League, uh, Europa Conference success. Yes, we're in the top half of the league. But with the players we've got, what we're seeing on the field in terms of a product needs to be better. And it certainly wasn't tonight. To, to, to the comparison with Newcastle, at least Chelsea put out, a, or at least a, a near enough, full strength team. Um, but your West Ham, you come to Anfield, never, never an easy task. You see the, you see the six changes and you think, well, yeah, I, we could have a go here. But at no point, at no point in this game did West Ham look like, like they cared, like they, they wanted to be in the draw for the next round. Nobody bothered to make a challenge anywhere within 30 or 40 yards of, of their own goal. To say it, it was embarrassing, and, and where I disagree with Craig, and, and while, yes, there, there will be, of course, speculation about David Moyes, there, there, there always is, Unless David Moyes said to, said to these players, don't, don't bother to make a challenge. I'm not sure how you explain that. I'm not sure how professional footballers at this level simply refuse to make a challenge in and around their own box. I mean, the defending was, was embarrassing. It, it, it really was. Um, and, and as a result, Liverpool just, just run amok. A, a, a very understrength Liverpool at, at that. Here's a question. Why... Does it not make more sense for West Ham to put their best 11 up? Mm -hmm. and, and the argument from some would be, well, they're in the Europa League and they're in this. They're sitting eighth in the Premier League. They're never, ever, ever going to be relegated, certainly not this season, with the guff that's in the Premier League. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they might say, well, we're pushing for another European place through our, uh, through our league form. But really, they're in that position where they're not at a risk of, no. of anything. So... You know, you go to Liverpool, you know Klopp's going to make changes. You know City are out, United are out, Arsenal are out because you've, you've put them out. I mean, hindsight's a wonderful thing, I know that. But a full, West, a full strength West Ham tonight, bearing in mind the position they're in in the league, would that not have been a better way to go? But, He's made changes, it hasn't worked. They've but, been absolutely walloped. Yeah, yes, West Ham in the Europa League, but you're in the Europa League at a stage where the Champions League clubs are, are now coming on to, into that competition. You're, you're offered the chance of playing a semi-final here. Yeah. I, and, and a semi-final where the other three teams aren't really that strong. I, this, this has to be, had, or had to be, West Ham's best route to any kind of silverware. Europa League and, and what comes with, with winning that uh, aside, this had to be West Ham's best opportunity to win silverware. And, and to see that, I, I, again, I, 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 I cannot fathom any kind of an excuse. Nadam, what do you want to talk about? Good Liverpool or bad West Ham? Well, if I've got time, I'd like to talk about both. I think from the West Ham perspective, yes, they did make changes, but the team is put out there. It's not the first time playing together because you have seen them play in other games throughout the season. You've seen them play in the Europa League, you've seen them play in the earlier rounds of this cup competition as well. And I was stunned how passive they were. 
I think in the first half there were times when they wanted to go and try and play out from the back. But then you could see that one or two players were hiding and didn't want to receive it, so that didn't work. And Liverpool pressed them really well. So then second half they say, well, let's go longer. But they'd lose the first ball, the second ball, and then be caught in transition. So the fact that they basically took a back foot to everything that the manager probably asked them to do, I think it's hugely disappointing. And as you mentioned with some of those goals, like you've seen Curtis Jones walk straight through the middle of the team. And I know he's had a good game and is a fantastic player, huge talent, all this stuff. But be competitive. I think at the end of that game, Liverpool feel like they ran more. You know, they played more channel balls. They were better from set pieces. They're almost better from every single side of that. And credit to Liverpool. They made their changes and they still had a good flow. It was still a good moment, creating chances, taking chances, feeling themselves, feeling confident. But that from West Ham, for me, is just hugely disappointing because, again, there's so many times, I'm sure the guys would say this, where, you know, you lose games and as you walk away, you're disappointed because, you know, maybe things didn't go your way. But today, nothing from my perspective was right about West Ham apart from that goal from Bowen, which in the grand scheme of things meant so, so little mm. because they were never in a chance of winning this game from the very first whistle to the final whistle as well. Now you get, you, get, you got on a flight back to London or a bus, whatever it is, and, and you've been beaten... It happens, you know what I mean? Mm. You go to Anfield, it, it, it can happen, right? There's no doubt about that. But you go back, if you've put a fight up and you've created chances and you've made tackles and you've defended stoutly and they've broken you down with a bit of brilliance, you can accept that. And I think the supporters yes. can accept that as well. I think what's unacceptable is just the, 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 the very, and we've all touched on it, the very meek uh, and pedestrian nature of how they went about this. A competition that is important for them a competition where, let's be honest, there's more chance that there was more chance of them winning the Carabao Cup than there is of being successful in Europe again. So it's almost unexplainable how the opportunity was there. This was a weakened Liverpool side, not a bad Liverpool side, but a, certainly a, a weaker one. And to lose in the manner in which they did, and to have no shots in the first half, nothing at all, no ch no real changes of any. Pakita in 57 minutes. The other changes not until the game was dead and buried. I'm actually intrigued to, to hear what David Moyes, if, if we get any quotes from him uh, after the game. Normally, what managers say half the time is, is gobbledygook. But I'm actually intrigued how he's going to sort of spin this one to say, look, I take the blame, or is he going to put it on the players because that's five goals against Fulham, five goals again against Liverpool, and a side that's you know. It prides itself on being defensively very solid. Not good enough. And we're hearing because Shaka picked Liverpool, West Ham aren't offering up any buddies to speak to Alexis after the game. <laughs> okay, uh, they want to see some understandable. Uh, uh, from the hammer of the year. The draw will be in about 15 minutes. We'll come back to it and discuss it with Naden. But first, are we going to go to the draw live just to spare us a few minutes? No. No, Craig. No, we're not going into <laughs> it live. We'll start talking we've about got, the club's World Cup again. We've got a lot going on. I'm moving on now.